This is call one, January 2011. Yeah. Question seven. Good all. That was a good intro, wasn't it? That was good. Um, right, express 4x squared plus 12x minus 3 in the form that's given there. Uh, we've got two choices, haven't we? We've got, whoops, we've got various ways that we do these. I think for something like this, we're going to take the easiest possible route and do it the comparing coefficients way. So we're just going to carefully multiply this out. So what do we get? Three x squared. Yeah. Plus two p q x. So we get two q x. So we say we're times by t. So two p q x. Plus p q squared. So we've got that. And that's a, a fairly standard thing, so we're well practiced at doing that. We always get about the same result. And now we're going to compare coefficients. Remember, this is that bit where we just compare the x squares and the x's and the number bit. And they have to be the same on both sides. So if we look at the x squared term first. So the, the bit that we've coloured in blue. Then I think we've got something dropping straight out of that. We've got, on the left, we've got 4. On the right, we've got P. So P equals 4. That's a good start. And now we can look at the X term. So help me out, what do we get from the X bit of this? Uh, 2pq equals 12, okay. What would we do next time? Uh, times p by 2, so you get 8q equals 12. Okay. We already know that p is 4, so 8q is 12. So q in its simplest form must be... 12 over 8, 12 over 8, 12 over 8, 12 over 8, so Q is 3 over 2. Now we're left looking at the number term at the end. The bit that I coloured in green. And we're saying that what? P, now this is that, that mistake here, isn't it? Is to only take the R from this bit. We've got to take all of the number bits left. So P Q squared plus R is minus 3. Except we know that um, P is 4 and Q is 3 over 2, so that's 4 times 3 over 2 squared plus R is minus 3. Now we're going to be careful with this, aren't we, and do things in the right order. We're just squaring the 3 over 2, so that's 4 times 9 over 4 plus R is minus 3. 4s have cancelled out and we're ending up saying that R is minus 12. There we go. Now what did the question want? It wanted it written in the form. Px plus Q squared plus R. So we're going to finally write it as being 4 times x plus 3 over 2 squared plus R. Are we happy with that? Do we, do we agree with that? Yeah. Great. Part two. Um, this, this doesn't say hence solve the equation, but there must be some point to what we've just done there, mustn't there? So we can do it either way. Are you still with us, Jack? Are we? We are. Uh, We've got a choice here. We've, we've got it in computer the square form, or we could go to the formula, or we could try and factorise it. I think as we've done all this work, we're more sensible using that, aren't we? So we're going to say, if 4x squared plus 12x minus 3 is 0, then that's the same as saying 4 lots of x plus 3 over 2 squared minus 12 is 0, because they are the same thing. So if we rearrange this, we've got 4 lots of 
x plus 3 over 2 squared equals 12. And we're going to carefully going to pick this until we get what x is. We're going to divide by 4 first. Then we're going to square root. What have I forgotten? Plus or minus. It has to be plus or minus. Mm. And then we're going to take the plus 3 over 2 to the other side. And you can test this. If you put that straight into the quadratic formula, then you would end up simplifying it down to look exactly the same as that. Right, what are we on now? The quadratic equation 4x squared plus 12x minus k equals 0 has equal roots. Find the value of k. So when we read, when we read this, as soon as we read that, it tells us what. What word does that bring to mind immediately? Discriminant. It tells us discriminant straight away. So as soon as we read that, we're thinking this is about the discriminant. There may be other ways of doing this because of what we've already done. But that seems like a very sensible way to start with this. So, so let's do that. 4x squared plus 12x minus k. Is 12x minus k. If it has equal roots, then the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, and what does it mean if it has equal zero. roots? Equal zero. Equal zero. Right. That means they're equal zero. So we've got 12 squared minus 4ac equals zero. It's just a case of throwing everything into this, seeing what we get. 144. Um, what's this going to give us next? <coughs> Plus 16. Plus 16. And so by rearranging this, we've got 16k is minus 144. And the question did say to us, find the value of k. It didn't actually say anything about simplifying it as much as possible. We, we probably should. Um, what have we got there? Sorry? Very good. And with that, 